Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about a very important topic, Abgar score. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Abgar score was devised in 1952 by Dr. Virginia Abgar for evaluating the physical condition of the infant at specific intervals following birth. Now, what do we mean by Abgar score? The Abgar scoring is a comprehensive screening tool used to assess health of newborn at birth and can assist in identifying the need for any immediate attention or intervention that baby needs. What does Abgar stands for? Abgar was coined in the United States as a mnemonic learning aid. A stands for appearance, P for pulse, G for grimace, A for activity, R for respiration. When do we check Abgar? It is generally checked 1 minute and 5 minutes after birth. The 1 minute determines how the baby tolerated birth. The 5 minute score determines how baby is doing outside the womb. This may be repeated later 10 minutes if the score remains low. Now regarding scoring. Each category is scored with 0, 1 or 2 depending on the observed condition. And this is totally added up for a score of 0 to 10. This we will be discussing one by one. And first comes appearance, that is skin color. Score 0 indicates cyanotic or blue all over the body. Here the skin color is either cyanotic or pale blue and the infant's score will be 0 for the color. Next score 1 indicates pink torso, blue extremities. Here the body of the baby is pink and the extremities are either cyanotic or blue and the infant scores 1 for the color. Next will be score 2 that is pink torso and extremities. If the entire body is pink, the infant scores 2 for the color. Next comes pulse or the heart rate. Heart rate is evaluated by a stethoscope. This is the most important assessment. Score 0 indicates absence, that is, there is no heart rate. Next, score 1 indicates less than 100, that is, if the heart rate is less than 100 beats per minute. Score 2 indicates more than 100, that is, if the heart rate is greater than 100 beats per minute. Next comes grimace or reflex irritability. Grimace response or reflex irritability is a term describing response to stimulation such as a mild pinch. Score 0 indicates no response to stimulus. Score 1 indicates limited cry or grimacing for reflex irritability. Score 2 indicates vigorous cry that is there is grimacing, cough, sneeze or vigorous cry for stimulus. Next comes activity or the muscle tone. Score 0 indicates flaccid that is if the muscles are loose and floppy. The score of infant will be 0. Score 1 indicates limited movement that is if there is some muscle tone the infant scores 1. Score 2 indicates actively moving, that is, if there is active motion, the infant's score will be 2. Next is respiration or breathing effort. The score 0 indicates absence of respiration. Score 1 indicates hypoventilation or irregular where the respirations are slow or irregular and the infant scores 1. Score 2 indicates strong loud cry where the infant cries well. Now comes interpretation of Abgar score. 
The score ranges between 0 to 10, which is the sum total of all the scores discussed before. 7 to 10 indicates good adjustment. Here, there is no intervention required and the baby is doing good. All we need is the routine care following delivery. Score 4 to 6 indicates moderately depressed infant. Here, some resuscitation assistance may be required. Oxygen, suction, and other kind of assistance will also be required. Score 0 to 3 indicates severely depressed infant, which may need full resuscitation. However, a child who has a low score at 1 minute and a normal score at 5 minutes should not have any long-term problems. A score of 0 at both 1 and 5 minute intervals might generally indicate a stillborn baby. In some cases, the APGAR scoring may be repeated after 10 minutes if the score remains low. Remember, the purpose of the APGAR score is to determine whether a newly born needs immediate medical care. It is not designed to make long-term predictions of a child's health. Now, let's have a look at the documented model APGAR chart. This may differ from institution to institutions. Now, let's discuss a question from NCLEX point of view. On assessing the 5-minute APGAR score of a newborn baby, the heart rate is 90, no response to stimulation, flaccid, no respirations, and cyanotic all over the body. What will be the APGAR score? Now, taking the first one, appearance, skin color. If we look at the question, cyanotic all over the body, which indicates the score for appearance is 0. Next is pulse. That is, heart rate given in the question is 90, which is less than 100. And this indicates the score for pulse will be 1. Next is grimace. If we look at the question, there is no response to stimulation, which indicates the score for grimacing is 0. Next one is activity. If you have a look at the question, flaccid, that is there is no muscle tone and hence the score for activity is 0. Next is respiration. If you look at the question, there is no respiration and obviously the score is 0. And the APGAR score after sum of all the scores will be 1. And the answer is 1. And the child needs a full resuscitation. So here you go with today's video regarding APGAR scoring and interpretation. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.